What's up guys, I'm Nick and this is Build Dad Build. And today I'm gonna to show you how to design this kind of ornament in Lightburn and then cut it out with my Ortur Laser Master 2 Pro. Let's do this. All right guys, so we're just gonna hop into Lightburn and we're just gonna to try to make this as easy as possible, right? So we're just gonna click on our circle tool. We'll make a circle. Um, I want that to be about four inches. And just make sure this guy is clicked here. So when you do four up here, it'll, it'll keep the aspect ratio. And then I'm just going to click copy paste, make another one. And this one, I'm gonna make four, I'm sorry, I'm gonna make 3.5. Grab my move tool and I'm gonna pull it down here and it's gonna snap it in the middle of this. See how it snaps it? So we're totally good. Now, while I've got that selected, I'm gonna select that outside and we're just gonna come over here and we're gonna merge the two of them. Okay, so this is the union of two shapes. So, oops, I'm sorry, we're gonna weld these. So now this is one shape. So if I select either one of these, they both move. Okay. Next, we want to have, we want to make the hanger. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to make another circle. This one's, I'm going to do 0.75 and I'm going to copy paste that. I'm going to make this one 0.5. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to grab this. We're going to, oop, no, don't do that. Grab, <laughs> grab this tool first. Grab this in and wait until it snaps into there. I'm gonna push in, uh, go center on this thing. Oh, too much. All right, that's good enough. Okay, so then we're just gonna select both of these. Same thing, we're gonna, we're gonna weld them. And then we're gonna take this over here and we're gonna figure out where we want this. I think that looks good. Now, I'm gonna select both and now we're gonna weld. And what that does is that just took that, that bottom chunk out of there and made this all one piece now. Next, we are going to make a nameplate on this thing. So I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna figure out kind of where I wanna be, probably right about there, bring this across. And then we're gonna just, we'll grab our move tool again and we're gonna bring this up here until we get it to where we kind of want it. And then I want this to be at an angle because I think it looks more interesting. So, oh, once we do that, we're just gonna, all I'm making sure is that everything is crossing a border here. Then we're gonna grab this, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna weld them together again. Nope, nope, we're not going to. Oop, sorry, we're gonna join them. And just keep that, keep that control or command Z key handy, the undo, <laughs> undo uh, key, just in case you make a mistake like that, you can't undo it. Okay, so this is our basic thing. We'll put our name in here. Um, now we wanna put some little Christmas guys on there. So we're gonna hop over into Chrome and we're just gonna go to Google Images and let's go, I don't know, Snowflake. And I'm always looking for clip art or something that's free. Um, you know, you definitely don't wanna take somebody's image that is for sale. And so you just kind of keep an eye out until you find something you like and see and find something that's free as well. I'm gonna grab this one. I'm gonna hit copy image and we're just gonna hit paste. And then to get a copy of that, we're gonna left click it and we're gonna go to trace. Um, you don't really need to do anything with this right now, um, but you do have some options in here. We hit okay. And then I'm gonna grab the image and get rid of it. Because what we're gonna do is we're gonna scale this to what we want. So one, I like to get it a little bit squishier if I can. And then obviously we're gonna to wanna to scale it down. I'm gonna bring it in here. And so some of this is gonna be trial and error for you guys in how well your laser will cut, or I guess not how well, how finely your laser will cut. Uh, because what you'll find out is that you'll put something in there and realize that it's, um, these lines are too thin and when you and when you try to pop it out they'll they'll break 
Um, I had one of those. I had something. <clears throat> I had something like that do that. Or I had something do that earlier. Is why I'm bringing it up. Um, but we're just going to bring this out like this. Maybe want to uh, turn it a little bit more. I would like to get the majority of this in there without that sticking out. Okay. All right. And then I'm going to copy paste, and we're going to put another one of these over here, and probably just like like that and maybe make it a little, actually let's make it a little bigger. Um, and sometimes if you have the opportunity to touch more than one surface, that is helpful sometimes to keep your uh, ornament a little bit more stable. So we're gonna do that since we have the opportunity there. Uh, and before we go any further, we're gonna just take that guy and we're gonna click here and we are going to weld those together. <clears throat> I'm sorry, join those together. I don't mean to keep using the wrong terms for you. Um, we've got these and do the same thing. Okay, so now you kind of see where we're going with this. Uh, let's put something down here. Um, let's see, what do you think? Like a Christmas tree? So when you see these, you wanna make sure that, let, well, that's a tiny one. You wanna make sure that it's all one image, like, like this guy. I don't like that one. Let's see what else. Let me pick up anything else over here. Because this is not a good image to use if you want to use this little base. But you know what? We're not going to use the base. So let's grab that one. I'll explain why when we jump back into Lightburn. All right. So we're going to hit paste again. We are going to grab the object, trace image, and OK. And then we're going to grab this. We're going to get rid of it. And then we're going to come in here and we have to we have to do a little work on this tree and here's why oops let's grab this stuff nope grab you there we go okay so we're going to unjoin right click ungroup i'm sorry ungroup and then i want to take this guy and i want to bring it down and make sure that it's attached and then we're going to select this and we are going to well, we'll just come over here and we will join those. And I don't like the way that did that, so I'm going to undo. Let's make it a little bigger. So you can definitely tell it's a star. And then we put it on top of the tree. Join them. Oops. I keep hitting that right. And we like that. All right. Next, we're going to come in here, this little base. We may not keep the base, but if we we're going to keep the base, we want to make sure that it's attached. Same thing. Bam. All right, now I'm gonna make this a little smaller. Bring it over here. And drop it in here. Once we have that, copy paste, do another one, and so on. But I'm realizing that the guy I learned this from is the uh, Louisiana Hobby guy. Um, I'll link to his channel down below. This is looking an awful lot like the one that he did. So let's get rid of these. You guys get the idea of what you could do with those things. I'm gonna come back to, I'm gonna go back to um, uh, the snowflakes again, because my wife loves snowflakes. scale it like that and then I kind of want to rotate this guy a little bit like this. and that is is that the same well that's almost the same image that's funny okay um, we're gonna bring this in here we're gonna do the same thing again over here where I want to stick these together as much as I can Okay, so now we've just got this. We've got our snowflakes. We are going to join again, and we're just gonna repeat the process. Join, 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 okay? Now, <clears throat> this is all gonna be on one cut path right now. So let's just go ahead and come up here. I'm gonna put it on blue so you can see it. I'm just gonna select this whole thing and put it on blue. We're gonna come up here, and what we wanna do is we're gonna cut a line and we're gonna cut at a speed of 120, and we're gonna cut at a power of 75, I hope. <laughs> now next we're gonna come up with our text, and so I'm gonna make this for my son. 
we're going to decide what text we want. So let's get this selected. I'm going to come up here and then we are going to go to something. Yeah, let's go a little Avengers for him. And then what I want to do is I want to put this on a different path. So I'm going to make that red. I'm going to bring it down here. And then that is a little huge. So let's make it a little smaller. Bring it over here. And that's where we want to be. Okay, but this we don't want, to, want it to cut. We want this to engrave. So we are going to go with fill. And let's see, we're probably going to do like a 50% power. And uh, like probably a thousand millimeter speed. Let's just try that and see what we think. Okay, so we now have our, actually here, I also want to, I want to convert this to a path. The reason I want to do that is because I don't think I have this font on the computer downstairs. And if it's still a font, it will, it, it, it'll, it, it'll say it can't find the font. All right, I just want to double check this. We're going to fill. So we're going to take this down to the computer downstairs. But one thing we want to do before we do that is we're going to come up here and we're going to save this. The reason we're going to save this is because if we want to make another one of these later, we'll have it saved in an art file. So I have my down here. Normally, this is the, the screen you'll see. You'll have library down here. If you don't have art library, it is up here and you just click that guy. Um, and then I have a library already called ornaments. So what I want to do is I want to grab this and I want to import this in there. So I'm just going to call this ornament one. And now that's in there. So we, you, you can always come back and load this library up and you'll be able to click this. Like if you do that, it'll make one for you. Okay, undo that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to save this off, uh, send it to the computer downstairs, and then we'll, we'll go down there and we'll engrave it. Okay, we're downstairs now. We're going to be doing this on walnut. This is walnut. It's just, uh, this, is, this is masking on one side. Highly suggest that if you're, car, or if you're trying to cut things on your laser to mask the side that you're cutting into at least. Some people mask both sides. You don't get as many burn marks on it. And then I have just one of these little guys that I use, that I put under my surface that doesn't burn into my uh, spoil board. So now we just do all the usual stuff. We're gonna come into light burn. Okay, and I'm just moving it manually with light burn. Okay, and then we're gonna focus our laser, which these little thumb screws drive me nuts, because this one is always stuck. <laughs> There we go. All right, we should be focused, but no, we're not. Yeah, we are. Okay. Get that guy out of there. All we're doing now is hitting fire the laser on in light burn. I'm gonna jog up one and over one, and that's gonna be our starting point. Okay, so I just loaded the ornament that we just designed upstairs onto this. I lined it up with our laser, and then I remembered that I think I need to do two passes on walnut on the Artur. So I changed, uh, I changed our cut path to do two passes. Now, the other thing I didn't do upstairs is that the fill or the, here, let me turn you around. You can see this all right. Um, the fill needs to happen before the cut so it doesn't get off. So I'm gonna click that and I'm just gonna bump it up. But we want that one to happen first. Okay, and then we're just gonna run a frame. If, if you hold down your shift key when you hit frame, it'll fire the laser so you can see where it's gonna go, where you can see where your cut path is gonna be. All right, if you'll notice, I swapped out my spoil board. Um, I had to go redo my settings a little bit, but there is the freshly cut product. Then we have the tedious process of knocking all these guys out. If you can knock them out from the back, that's better because of the angle of the laser. And I have a little X-Acto knife here because sometimes you need a little persuasion. There we go. Um, once you start popping some of them out, like the little ones will just fall out a lot of times. See what I'm talking about? And then these bigger guys, 
Some scissors are gonna work out them a little bit more, even break a little piece of them off because they don't wanna come out. And then, like I said, it's just a, the tedious little guys that you need to pop out. Cause everybody's like, well, you just put it on the laser. Well, yeah, and then I did this for 20 minutes, depending on how, you know, complicated your design is. And, you know, people want the complicated ones because they look cool. Okay, so that, that looks good. Now, before we peel off this masking goodness and see what we got underneath, I just wanted to take a second to say thank you guys for watching this video and sticking around until now, especially my Patreon members. All these guys down here, they're the ones that really help the channel out. They're the ones that, they're the reasons I have the lasers and the CNC and all that good stuff. So I want to say thank you to them, especially my Boilermaker patrons, Stephen Mann, Eric Weiss, Derek Coates, Chuck Faulkner, Puffy muffins zach z jim carter and andy the viking i would clink as you but it's like it's like 10 30 in the morning and if you've not had a chance to so go check out my patreon page i will link it below please go check it out join up if that is your thing it really helps the channel out it's a great way to support the channel patreon members get exclusive behind the scene content you get a welcome gift from me when you join up higher tier patrons get swag and occasional gifts from the shop Check it out, join up if that is your thing. Now, let's peel this bee. All right, so this is just masking tape around here now, or so, uh, like it's a wide strip of masking tape, but we're gonna just, once you get it started, you'll uh, you'll discover that you, you don't wanna go too, uh, too crazy detailed on your, <laughs> on your design sometimes because uh, you'll be picking the stuff off forever. But if you can get it started and just keep like a consistent pressure. A lot of times you can get the majority of it off. It's kind of satisfying when you can like get the whole, see I got that whole snowflake at once. Ooh, so fancy. All right. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna like, I'm gonna pause real quick and just do this, but you see how like I've got that, and, like this little piece here and I gotta get that off. All right, there you go. That's the finished product. Let me get to a little back so you can see what it looks like but we've got the name in there we've got the snowflakes cool little thing to hang on the tree of course that'll darken up a little bit when you put some finish on it um, I did change my settings I ended up doing uh, for the cut uh, 150 millimeters per minute 95 power two passes uh, so I did change it a little bit from when I first set it up. That was some difficulty cutting through, which is why you always want to do a, cut, uh, a test cut piece. I did not because I'm a horrible person. All right, guys, I hope this helped out. Thanks for watching. Now I got to get to work.